have his horns go back. Okay, so we just located a kudu. That looks like a shooter. Yeah, so we, we're gonna walk and see if we can't get a, a shot at it and just see how it looks. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Not bad. You still need to come a bit forward a little bit, but it's, it's, it's the last type book, not the first type book. As we were coming up this road, that looked like a, a shooter ball. It, it might be a last day shooter, <laughs> but uh, one of the things it just wasn't quite, the tips weren't quite. Uh, up high, higher than we wanted. It's probably about four inches shy of what we'd like to see, but I mean, it's a nice bull. He's uh, walking away now, but he's, uh, I would say, what, 50, 50 inches, something like that. So I guess we'll, we'll keep it in mind. We may be uh, back after him again. He just shot. Okay. You have a, a round in the rifle? Yes. They should come back here in the afternoon. Yeah. If they know we know they're in this area. So I think we're going to come and sit somewhere. We're going to just get a, a place to sit and then um, wait it out. Look good. We load and then we'll walk up. The mark, my man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what man. a bull. Oh, look how worn off this tips off. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations, sir. Yeah, all I can say is that it, this is just a very special moment. It's just awesome to get a kudu, the first African animal that I've shot here, uh, coming all the way over here, and it, it's just been fantastic. It was a great hunt. We had a nice plan in place. Uh, the boys put together a beautiful blind to uh, conceal us. Uh, we were anticipating that they might come out, and uh, we had to wait and wait and wait, and we had a few impala that were impatient that wouldn't let us shoot them so we had to wait wait it out and then eventually uh, 
this uh, there was some cows that stepped out and then this big boy and he wouldn't give us a shot and he wouldn't give us a shot and it's like all these other cows were around him and I was freaking out thinking you know <laughs> I don't want to hit a cow and and then uh, Rue was just was saying just wait just wait he's gonna turn when he turns you know put it right on him put it on his shoulder and eventually he turned to the right started like he was gonna, almost gonna jump the fence and I plowed him right there with that 375 H and H did its job beautifully that uh, 250 grain trophy bonded bear claw did its job uh, he wheeled around and ran about 50 yards and tipped over so uh, it's per you can't get a better place to you know to skin this out and everything else it's right next to the road here so yeah it's really something really excited uh, we got more to come Right behind the shoulder there. Mm -hmm. okay. The perfect impala. Beautiful. The perfect shot. 375 does it again. Huh? It's a meanie. Very, very it's a meanie. Look at that shot. Perfect. We chased them around quite a while before we finally got in position to get a shot. The 375 pretty much uh, finished the job very quickly. <laughs> so uh, right behind the shoulder. So he was starting to quarter away. And I mean, they're really skittish animals. They don't wait around long. You know, you just have a couple seconds to shoot. And when you get a chance, you got to take it because they'll be gone. The whole group, the whole herd will take off. And, so it's an exciting hunt, uh, it's a beautiful trophy, everyone should have an Impala. So uh, off to the next. Like it. I can't believe that. Uh, I, yeah, it must have. It must have just deflected it. I had it right in the middle of his shoulder. Look at these horns, man. I found him in the brush, and I, I put it right on his shoulder. But then I realized that I just had to shoot through that brush because it was like. I, I figured that it was going to be, be a good shot anyway, so I ended up uh, shooting and it clipped the brush a little bit and it deflected it into his neck, but he went right down and that was pretty much the end. So really nice bases on it, nice and heavy. It's a beautiful blessed buck, so I'm very happy and couldn't be more pleased.
So reload, reload, hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Okay, reload again. Let's go, let's go. Pick it up. That was nice! Whoa, he's, that's a perfect shot. I've wanted a Gemsbuck for a long time. I mean, it just, now I don't have to go to New Mexico. <laughs> Very nice. Boy, the wind was just perfect. Mm, everything you know? was great. It really, it was a nice, uh, it was a nice setup. That one looked back and I thought, we're in trouble. Yeah, the golden you one, know? another golden one. But we didn't make any noise or anything. It didn't, you know, didn't spook. We were able to get a great shot on him, uh, right into the shoulder, and uh, he just did a complete flip. Just amazing. Uh, not not easy to do with these things. And I put one more in him for just a good measure, and it's just awesome get over there and uh, uh, here he is. It's a dream come true. Cheers Haney. Doing a great job. I'm glad you're here. Well, Mark, we're here at Borti Safaris this morning. Um, I think it's day four now, and uh, we're going to look for a black wildebeest. I know it's high on your list. Um, it's quite a chilly morning, and um, but we survived, and uh, we're just waiting for the tracker that's going to assist us for the day, and we'll see what what the day may bring. Um, yes, yeah, so th th the black wildebeest is one that I've always wanted. I just really like the uh, the looks. It's just an interesting animal, and it's always been something on my list. So I'm excited uh, hunting out here with Bailey Sipple Safaris and uh, it's been an awesome hunt so far and very appreciative of all the uh, opportunities I've had and uh, how everything is run. So looking forward to it. Here we go. Nice. See what we can see there. Maybe if we spot anything there, there's another area that they also walk in. Otherwise, we're going to come back here and walk these tracks. Sure. Okay. Maybe the wind changes the wind will turn directly in, into them.
him off. We're just going to quickly walk, not quickly, slowly walk in the inside of this um, dam on the edges of the of the walls and just see if we can't spot a, spot a pig and um, we'll see if it's a big one or a small one and we'll decide on that when we, we want to take it or not. Okay. And we're just going to do like a circle and we'll bump up on top of the dam wall every now and again and see what's on the other side. So. Sounds good. Yes! Nailed one of those little suckers. <laughs> Finally, Mark. <laughs> Congrats on a, on a good pick. And, um, it's a good thing I shoot a big rifle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that as well. Um, so, congrats and um, we'll celebrate the camp tonight before you leave. Sweet. So this pig came around a little bit late. Fortunately, I'd missed one earlier. Uh, we'd seen a lot of them coming into the corral area. And so, uh, it was pig night, I guess. <laughs> Warthog night. Hit him with the 375 and he uh, he's down and nice old boar. <laughs>